Auburn fans packed Toomer's Corner to roll its legendary oaks one last time after Auburn's annual A-Day game, saying one final goodbye to the two poison trees. There was a record turnout of 83,401 at the football spring game, and those thousands of fans left during their stadium to meet downtown at the corner of College and Magnolia to continue one of college sports' greatest traditions. The Auburn marching band was there, so was Auburn's mascot, Aubie and head football coach Gus Malzahn and athletic director Jay Jacobs. And of course, there were thousands of rolls of toilet paper, turning the day into the ultimate tumor celebration. Yeah, to me, we've got a lot of excitement. People don't seem sad. I think we're just more celebrating over the tradition and history. celebration of the Oaks, all day and night and across the city of Auburn, like an Avondale bar just downtown overlooking the legendary corner. Oh, it's been sad to watch him uh, slowly go downhill, you know, and, uh, but, you know, hey, the spirit's still there, so I don't think anything's going to go away, you know, we could have a monument of trees and it'd be just fine, because everybody understands. It is the spirit, and it is sad looking at them dead. I think it is better that they are taking them out. Yeah, go ahead and take them down. Yeah. University officials had long decided that eight days rolling would be the Oaks last, but Auburn fans and alumni kept the party rolling all night and all weekend until the inevitable happened. A lot, different, a lot different mood than what we have right now. Everybody's taking back and slowly digesting what's going on right now. And it's not a, uh, it's not a, let's celebrate and have a good time because of A-Day and, and the uh, family, you know, bringing your families out. It's kind of like a different crowd too. It's more just, people just came to see what, see the, uh, the, the final chapter, not the final chapter, just the, the end of what was going on here right now. It's kind of sad now and there's a lot of people here <laughs> watching and on Saturday, it was jam-packed and everyone's here honoring the trees and it was a sad time for me and my family and my parents up here and everything, so very different. It's going to be different with them gone. The original oaks were cut, removed, and hauled away, but their spirit will live on as parts of the trees will be turned into mementos and sold to benefit scholarship funds for Auburn students. Now there's little left of the original oaks at Toomer's Corner, but those memories remain at that legendary meeting place across the street from Toomer's Drugstore. Those memories, like the ones made at A-Day in that final rolling, are Auburn fans to keep until the new corner's design is put into place in 2014.